watch television in the dark. I am, however, sitting inches away from my HD TV so that I could show you this, the uh, boot up logo for the Xbox 360. I know you're thinking, well, that's nothing special. But today, we've seen the new Xbox experience, or the NXE. The dashboard has been reinvented. And if you're asking what I think, I like it. I like it a lot. So I'm going to sign in. And I know everyone wants to add me as a friend. It's not going to happen. I don't reciprocate Xbox friendships unless I know who you are. I don't really have a lot of, quote-unquote, Xbox friends. Uh, it's radically different from what I've been used to. Uh, much more uh, rich experience. Yes, Wicked, you'll get your turn. Now my dog wants to play with it. You, you don't even have an Xbox uh, Gold membership. So uh, after you sign in, you're taken right to the spotlight. Looks like I have four friends online. And here we're able to see videos, trailers, news, information, events. Uh, it explains that the new avatars, and I'll show you how I customize mine here in a second, um, how they can integrate with games that support them. Uh, looks like uh, join the NXE is live celebration photo party. You're invited to share and view photos with friends. Now, um, I'm just controlling it again with uh, the Xbox 360 controller. I'm recording this video with the uh, Xbox 360 webcam, or I guess camera, and I have that plugged into uh, my computer and I'm using that to stream out. So that's the spotlight. There's the My Xbox in the uh, drive right now. I have Pure, so I can jump in and play that. There's my uh, avatar, my 3D avatar. It tells me I'm signed in. The latest games that I played, Luminous, Tetris, Boogie Bunnies, and another Tetris. My gamer score. My game library, video library, music, picture, Windows Media Center if I need to connect to that, and then, of course, system settings. Now, in the system settings, I wanted to show you something. This is something that's probably going to be interesting for uh, those of you who uh, are used to the Xbox. If you scroll down to Welcome Channel, this is where you turn off the Welcome Channel in the dashboard. You can either show or hide it. I have it hidden for semi-obvious reasons. So that's in the console settings. So you may want to turn that on, or turn it off, as the case would be. Then there's the Game Marketplace, exploring game content, seeing the Avatar games, new tracks, community games, and of course, information trailers and downloads and whatnot. This is, uh, I think, the most interesting part of uh, the new Xbox uh, experience, and that would be the Netflix integration. Now, I've already uh, paired it with my Netflix account, and basically what it does is it pulls in, oh, an update available for this game. Well, it's not really a game, but I guess I'll update now. Um, I don't know if it's going to restart the console. I don't think it would. I think it would just restart the, con uh, the, the software. Yep, there we go, Netflix, Xbox Live. This takes your um, you know, watch now queue or your instant queue and populates it. And the neat thing is, is it happens dynamically. So right now I have a handful of videos. Pri uh, Primer, which is a very geeky movie, by the way. Uh, Paper Clips, Spellbound, Word Wars. I like documentaries and some, some other stuff that I hadn't yet seen. I could go into my Netflix account right now, and that's the only way to add things to the instant queue. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to go... To, I know this is you guys are going to be bored to tears here while I do this, Netflix.com. And I've already logged in there. And I'm going to go to Watch Instantly. And then press, let's see here, Helvetica. Ooh, this is a, this is, I wanted to see this. I think this is about the font, Helvetica. Now it's been added to my, Helvetica has now been a, added to my instant queue. I had no idea they, they, they had that available. That must be just brand new. I don't know if they just, uh, Announce that or what? It's, I think it's a documentary on, on the, the story of the Helvetica font. So uh, there you go. Look at that. I don't know if you saw it just pop in there. That is Helvetica. Let's see if I can scroll back if you can see it a little better. I realize the Xbox uh, camera is not the most amazing in terms of quality, but hey, it's a pretty cheap webcam and it works very, very well. So it adds it right away when you add it from the web, and then I'm able to go in to any one of these and press play and start watching the movie instantaneously, as long as it's available in the, uh, in the queue. Uh, or the instant queue on Netflix.com. Amazing. It, this is uh, this is going to sell you on an Xbox or a Netflix subscription, even if you hadn't uh, considered. If you have one and not the other, you need the other. Okay, so we're going to exit. Go back to the dashboard. 
it's it's pretty responsive. I mean, the controls are, are, are responsive. They say it's it, it, everything is is working quicker than before. I don't know if I could see, you know, how much speed. And of course, more movies. And I can be this this far this 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 many levels deep or this many uh, I guess video or little uh, uh, thumbnails deep, and I can still press up to get information so I can see my other friends and what they're doing. Uh, and I'm able to tell whether or not they are, have joined, uh, or number one, uh, the uh, uh, the new experience, or I guess turned on the new experience or installed the new experience. Uh, if they haven't, then all I see is a silhouette with their names. I don't want to give too much away. And there's Inside Xbox getting more uh, information about various and sundry things that be happening throughout the community. Behind the scenes, Robot Chicken, Star Wars Episode 2. So then I press that button. And start downloading and playing. I'm not going to play it right now, though. But, uh, you know, it didn't cost me anything. Oh, oh, no way! Major Nelson. Major's Minute. 007 is Nelson. Major Nelson. Nice. Way to go, Larry. Wow. I know. We know that guy. Remember when he came in a while ago? Uh, back when the Xbox first launched? Oh, my God. That's so crazy trippy. Uh, so, uh, there's the events. Gaming various and sundry things, and back to the spotlight. Uh, marketplace is uh, pretty, uh, it should be pretty uh, uh, straightforward, you know, if, if you're, uh, you're at all familiar with the way the Xbox Live Marketplace works. Uh, you can browse, or you can look specifically through new arrivals. There's the titles, or you can browse by genre. Get more information on that. And the nice thing is, is you can either get the demo, watch a preview, or just go to your all downloads. There's the featured downloads. Images that you can then view full screen. Back. Um, actually, I want to show you one more thing here. Uh, there's the uh, box shot uh, and more statistics about the game, and then a description. Uh, it's uh, it's very very smooth. Uh, the navigation. It's going to take a little getting used to in terms of you know where I was used to finding things and where they are now. Uh, it's interesting to be able to go in and, and see uh, the uh, uh, what the boxes would appear like if these things had boxes. But of course, these are these happen to be arcade titles that I'm browsing through right now. Uh, I like the experience. Some people don't. Some people have tried it and they say, "No, I, I can't stand it." Uh, I I really do like it. Um, this is something that uh, I uh, I think was long overdue. Uh, the uh, the blades in the Xbox dashboard are kind of long in the tooth. It may be simple to get lost, you know, when you're first starting with this, um, you know, because there's so many things to look at. But you know, it's it's going to take you maybe a day or two to to really dive in. If I click my avatar, what I can go in and and see my gamer card. I've got like almost five stars. I've only got two thousand gamer points at this point, but I'm a recreational gamer, so give me a break. Uh, I'll go to customize avatar. And this is much like uh, you could do with the Wii. There seem to be a few more options with this avatar. And I really didn't have to do much uh, to, be, to begin with. You know, changing hair, eyes, eyebrows. Uh, a neat thing, though, too, is that you can... Uh, you can, of course, take your gamer picture or use your avatar as your gamer picture. Uh, there's clothing that you can change, uh, including uh, being able to save different outfits. So I can change my outfit here. I made one earlier, but I'm not going to change myself there. Very Wii-ish, I would say. Uh, <laughs> save and exit. Now, uh, I, I have to tell you that um, that uh, Mike uh, was a, uh, the uh, uh, the guy that you know from live.perillo.com told me that you can make your own backgrounds. So if you want to change your your theme at all. Uh, you can actually put your background onto a USB stick and plug that in, and you can change your theme by downloading that wallpaper to the background of your Xbox 360. It's kind of neat. Well, he told me that. I haven't actually gone that far, uh, but uh, animation is definitely... And I think it's translating okay to the live video stream. I do apologize for the... Uh, the camera quality. I'm doing my best using all Xbox stuff. You know, the Xbox camera, the the Xbox controller, of course, and uh, love. I love being able to look at achievements this way. This is a lovely way of of seeing what I've done or what I haven't done with various and sundry games that I've I've either played or downloaded or someone else has put into my system. 
Uh, obviously, the, the casual games have uh, I've, I've achieved more with them than anything else. So uh, I gotta tell you, I'm uh, I'm pretty impressed with this update. There's a lot more to explore. I'm much more inclined to explore videos this way. I don't know if I'm inclined to buy more videos, uh, but you know, going in inside Xbox, uh, it certainly looks like uh, it's it's going to be a, a lot of fun. Let's let's pull up Larry Major Nelson, good guy. I mean, you, you want to talk about a guy who bleeds community? That's that's Major Nelson. Hopefully, this won't be too loud because I've got the speakers across the room. Okay, enough of that. So I'm not gonna give you my uh, uh, my uh, account name. I'm sure you've already figured it out by now. I'm not gonna add you as a friend, unfortunately. So that's why I'm not giving it out. But I will give you my email address, and that's Chris at Perillo.com. I'd be interested in finding out what you think about this uh, dashboard update. If you like it, if you don't like it, uh, if you wished for more, or if you couldn't wish for more, at least at this point in time. What is your favorite parts? of the new dashboard. Uh, again, I'm, I'm interested in, in hearing your perspective. I know I've got so many gamers out there in, in, uh, in uh, YouTube land, and that's not a surprise. Uh, I'm a casual gamer. Those are games that I like, but I know that plenty of gamers love uh, participating in our community at geeks.perillo.com, and you're more than welcome to join us there. Upload your videos, uh, screenshots. Uh, you can post blogs. You can post in the forums, ask questions, give answers. You can do just about everything at geeks.perillo.com. And of course, you're also welcome to stop by the live video feed, and uh, that happens to be uh, the thing that you're watching right now as I'm recording it live with the chat room, and uh, you can join us and be a part of the live video experience 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.